Hello there and welcome back. You'll remember that yesterday we made this paragraph plan right here and I chose to write about my dog Bella and so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these parts of my plan in an order that I'm going to put them into a paragraph. Now we don't want to do the I mean we don't want to write these sentences in uh, really short things like we're not going to write I have a pug. She's got a grumpy face. She doesn't bark much. No, we're starting to become much better writers. So we're going to combine some of these together when we write our paragraph. We're still not going to turn these into sentences right now, but we're going to see where we can make these things connect to each other. So I'm going to just put a, a one by the fact that She's a pug, and I'm going to circle that. I'm also using a different colored pen because I want it to really stand out. The next thing is that she, uh, she's got a grumpy face. Now, I think I'll probably do a sentence like, I have a pug, and she has a grumpy face. Or maybe I'll do, Bella is a pug. Yeah, that might be a better thing. And then right here, maybe this will be my second one. She's got a grumpy face. But she doesn't bark much. Look, these two sentences definitely can go together. Notice I put a two and again a two. The next thing I'm going to do is think about, I'm just going around the circle here because I know this is how I wrote it, but I might skip a, a few of these. Um, well, let's see. She likes to go on walks, so maybe this might be my third sentence. And when she goes on a walk, she likes to smell things that are that are kind of smelly. So I'm going to put those two together. Sometimes I'll even make a little arrow like this to connect things together. Um, let's see. Sometimes she stares at me. So here's my number four. She stares at me. And I don't really know what she wants. Maybe she wants to food or water or to go outside. And that goes along with this. So I'm trying to connect all the ones that I can. We want them to be uh, related, though. We're not going to say uh, something like, uh, she's got a grumpy face and she acts like a parrot. Because those two don't actually go together. So, uh, in fact, as I look at this, I don't think that that fact is very important. So, because I have certainly enough other facts, I can get rid of that one. I'm just going to put an X through it. I'm still trying to combine some of these together. Let's see. She likes to snuggle under my blanket. Oh yeah, that's right. And I remember up here I said that she likes to lay on my legs. Those two actually go together pretty well. So I'm going to put a five on that. And notice they're really far apart. So maybe I will connect these two with a little line and an arrow. I'm just trying to get a sense of when I go to write these things, which order I'm going to put them in. So that's five. And number uh, six here, she loves warm things. And I've already, I've already got those kind of connected. Sunshine, blanket, fires. So I'm going to leave that just like it is. Let me see if I'm missing anything. As I look through here. Uh, nope, I got that. I got that. I got that. Yep. I've got all of my sentences and I've combined uh, a bunch of them together. Now, sometimes you won't combine uh, a sentence. So like right on this one right here, I didn't combine it with anything, but I have enough information in there that I'm going to be able to make a really nice little sentence out of it. And that's all for step two. Right now we're uh, still making the plan for the paragraph, and this is a really quick, simple uh, task to do. So open up your plan that you made yesterday, and then uh, start putting the parts together just like this, numbering and putting uh, sentences together that are related to each other. No more than two circles. I mean, if you do three or four circles, then your sentence is going to be crazy long. We don't need that. Just two of these circles together will make a nice, uh, nice sentences out of those. All right, get to it and have fun.